Hello creators, Alvin from Melvin S. Wong Music here and today I wanted to share with you something that I'm doing a lot as practice composing for media and how you can get yourself started today too, like right now. Well, after you uh, watch this video and like and subscribe and watch to the end. Okay, okay, as you saw in the title, this video is how to get lots of practice and have fun writing music and score your very own trailer or film clip. This video actually stems from uh, the one question that I get a lot, which is, hey, do you have any clips you can send me? I want to practice some writing and scoring. I saw your video on um, how to sync in Cubase. And it typically also goes something like this. I want to become, you know, the next movie composer and be the next John Williams or Hans Zimmer. And I can totally do it if only I had some film director or a project uh, to work on. Until then, maybe I'll just, um, you know, continue practicing with my instrument. Actually, this is funny and I admit it. I told myself the exact same thing and had the same kind of mindset for um, a few years actually. So a couple years and just noodled with my DAW and played with my instrument, waiting for maybe the next scoring contest that came by, and that was pretty much it. That is until uh, last year during the pandemic when um, I had a really good session with a, a life coach and good friend that I have on some of the goals I had in life in general. And yeah, what do I really want to do? What are some of the strategies here? And that's when I had a good reality check and reminded myself that, yeah, this world rarely ever favors anyone who doesn't make their own luck and uh, comes absolutely prepared. So specifically for my composer kind of career dreams here, no magical director or studio is going to A, discover you that easily from the sea of talented musicians and composers out there. Um, you gotta work your, your butt off and network. And B, even if you got your first opportunity to score a project and they somehow hand it to you, by gosh, I better hope I'm ready to have everything I can on orchestration, arrangement, music theory, uh, and able to hit those cues like super fast and running because that's what people will remember you for in how efficient you are and how well you match with the story and how easy you are to work with. One thing I really wanted is when that happens to be able to go and be purely focused on the story get in that zone get in that flow state and not be fumbling through every technical issue with my daw or uh you know how to change tempo and set markers and time code and sync audio and and not understand what the filmmaker is talking about when they're talking about their edit points and stuff like that so you get my point Trevor Morris, actually, uh, I really loved one of his insightful videos that he had, and he's a Canadian film and TV composer, and I remember him talking about how brutal the schedule is working on a network television series where you literally had to write six minutes a day to keep up with the crazy production schedule. So this is like the NBC, ABC's um, network television where no matter what, you have to deliver um, the episode on Tuesdays or something like that. So I thought that was really, really interesting and um, delivering stems by the end of each week to music editors for mixing and integrating. That's pretty stressful, right? I can only imagine, you know, trying to do that every single week and every day and, and knowing that if you creatively don't have anything that's coming out of you, like, you know, next day, what, you've got 12 minutes then and it starts piling up and snowballing. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check out his video. I highly recommend it. So with that said, what can we do here as composers? What is in our control? Well, just like putting in work in the gym and getting those reps in, we need to learn how to write music fast and practice with lots of media. But where do you get this array of media? There's actually four strategies that I wanted to share with you to get more of these clips and practice in. So number one is to search for and always be on the lookout for film scoring competitions. I had a ton of fun with the Spitfire Audio one last year with Westworld and I think like 11,000 or more of you also did. And I think we all collectively learned a lot with uh, what it feels like and how that goes. Number two, if you don't like that kind of thing with competitions and you want to just work at your own pace, Make your own short films yourself and be the dream director you want to collaborate with. So pick up a camera, uh, learn what it feels like to edit to uh, Premiere and Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve, which is free by the way, um, and just see what it's like on the other side of 
the uh, creative fence here. So if you're a music editor or film editor and you wanted to see how you're going to integrate some of your music uh, or vice versa, or, or you know, you get that perspective, which I think is, is really, really helpful in giving you a full picture of, of what it's like to be in a production team together. So yeah, uh, personally for me, I use the Sony a7 III. So I got this camera and I actually fell in love uh, with the whole process of learning how to, you know, film and and come up with good lighting and uh, and understand what aperture is and all that kind of stuff. So it's uh, it's ton of fun and it's very satisfying beyond uh, just music to to see what it's like on that side of the fence. Okay, so that was number two. Be your own director that you wanted to work with and come up with clips yourself and then start scoring to that. So that's a good way to get some practice. Number three, if that is too much work or heavy of an investment for you, maybe you don't like, um, you know, coming up with your own film clips, you can totally go to your old collection of DVD and Blu-rays and start ripping them into video files and especially find the deleted scenes where there's usually no music yet. Um, if, if that will help get you going. If not, you can also go to uh, YouTube and other streaming services and use something like OBS, which is a um, game streaming uh, free piece of software that you can actually use. And you can actually use a recording function in there to get the screen grabs that you want. And then from there, you can load all those clips that you've just grabbed into your DAW and then start practicing um, scoring to it. So it's always great to uh, see if you can come up with something original from, yeah, like a deleted scene or something where there isn't any music yet. Um, it's also equally, if not sometimes better, to uh, just transcribe and figure out what the original composer did and see if you can do a mock-up and ask your friends and family if they can even notice if there's any difference uh, with uh, how it sounds. So just getting better at your instrumentation. Okay, so that was number three. Number four even easier if you want to be 100% free of potential copyright issues and be able to showcase them on your website or YouTube channel for your portfolio. Sign up for a stock video website like storyblocks.com or Envato Elements or Artgrid uh, to name a few and write music to some of those stock video clips. Uh, maybe you can do some light editing, you know, with DaVinci Resolve, uh, which is free, like I mentioned before. You can go ahead and see what it feels like there. If that is too pricey, some of those uh, sites that I mentioned actually require you to pay on a per clip basis or on a yearly subscription fee. You can totally go with something free like pixabay.com. So I actually started out using a lot of uh, pixabay or pexels.com um, assets from creators that have uh, kindly volunteered for free their some of their works uh, in order to get more exposure. So you maybe want to grab some of those and just give them some credit and give them some love. So I actually did this myself with the trailer clip that you probably see at my YouTube channel on the homepage there for the movie company intro there. Uh, yeah, that's something that I highly recommend and you can totally go to town with some of those sites. Okay, now I want to show you an example project I did last night actually with some footage that I found from Envato Elements. Here is the final product and I gave myself an allotment of uh, just one evening to uh, go completely into something that I can deliver online and share with you today. So it's about one minute long. It's not the composer Navy Seal of six minutes that Trevor Morris was talking about, but I had to pick clips and I also had to do some editing of the, the trailer to make it look all pretty and feasible here as something that you might get for a brief. So here it is. I give you my teaser trailer, Reina X Machina, which is a dreamt up sci-fi film. By the way, if anyone wants to write and direct and fund something based on this trailer intent, you have a composer ready to go. Really? Really? You're gonna plug this here, Alvin? Just roll the clip.
Okay, so let me tell you about some of the very basic steps. So what I did was I went to Envato Elements, I searched for Robot Sci-Fi and then downloaded it. And then I opened up uh, Premiere Pro and I actually uh, strung uh, some of those clips together, add some transitions and some glitch effects to make it look pretty cool. And then I exported a 4K version and also a 720p version. And what I do is I use the 720p version, which I highly recommend. Um, is to always use a lighter version in your DAW when you're syncing and writing uh, the music. And then later on, stitch together the, the 4K and your original music back together when you hand it back to your final delivery of whether it's YouTube or uh, to the production house. So if you want some help in this, actually, I have another video on how to work with video within Cubase and, and syncing and all that kind of stuff, adding markers to, to clips. Um, but yeah, so I did that. I loaded it up in my DAW. I came up with some concept in my head. Again, I'm my own director, so um, and I can figure out what kind of tone and what I was going for for the sci-fi clip. For this particular one, I thought some synths and, and hybrid orchestral sounds would be good. I actually ended up using the Spitfire Audio's new uh, legendary low strings there quite a bit because I wanted to practice and see what that felt like. And it actually worked out pretty well, I think. You can let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, and then try and have lots of um, good transitions and keep your audience always um, interested with changing some tonality every nine seconds or so, just uh, as a rule of thumb. So finally, yeah, that was it. I just uh, exported it up and hope you enjoy it as an example of what I'm talking about here. Thanks so much for watching to the end of this video. As a summary, I shared with you some tips on how to find some clips and practice your composing chops with some material. Uh, we talked about filming and editing things yourself or screen grabbing from YouTube and then just getting that practice in loading it in your DAW and uh, giving yourself a little bit of a time constraint. So I showed you an example of what I ended up doing this week and I hope this all is inspirational for you and uh, at least interesting. <laughs> and thanks again for watching. If you found this helpful, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing and all that usual youtube -y stuff. So thanks again and have a great rest of the week. Go out there and create and I'll see you in the next video.